Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello Stella. Hi, how are you today? Uh, I'm happy because I passed the audition. Uh, I passed the media department audition. Oh, I see. We talked about it last week, right? Oh, yes. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And uh, did you already work on anything with that audition, like department? You said media department, is it? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you tell me more about it? Uh, uh, I don't know what, oh, what you, what I tell you. Okay, I see. That part, maybe we can just uh, start here. Just uh, wait for me a second and we'll start right away. It's right about now. Okay, that's perfect. So in that case, what you want to say is, oh, not this, but uh, from the class, okay. Which means, How would you say this? Uh, I don't know what you... I don't know what you... I probably say, yeah. but that's very good. Yeah, what you said. But if you say, I don't know what you said, that means maybe you didn't hear it. So it has many different meanings. But in that case, maybe specifically you can say, I don't know what you meant. What is meant? This is the past tense of mean. So I don't know what you mean. Oh, you probably don't hear the sound. Do you do you hear the sound actually? Okay, here. Did you hear the sound just now? No. No, you didn't? I don't hear the sound. I'm sorry, maybe I'll try another one. And that is this. Did you hear the sound? No. Maybe this is Zoom problem. Then I'll just speak it out. So that is meant. Meant. Meant is the past tense of mean. So which means in that case, if you say. I don't know what you meant. That means you said something, but I didn't understand what you said. Okay, in that case, you can say it that way, totally. And okay, which means you passed the audition, which means for, you said, uh, media department, right? Yes. Okay, and you passed the audition, that means that you work for that media department. But I don't yes. exactly know what kind of work that is. So can you tell me about your work? Uh, oh, my work is, uh, my work is, uh, uh, some, my work is talk and talk, um, Talk for the whole school mm -hmm. and uh, uh, what's Tilda in English? This could be like turn on. Uh, I turn on the music oh. in 
in the morning mm -hmm. and uh, uh, write down uh, um, Uh, what's table in English? Hmm. Script. Write down the script. my script. Okay. Oh, really? I remember now. I remember right that there was the thing. You are still an elementary school student. Am I right? Oh yes. What grade are you on now? Are you fifth grader or sixth grader? Uh, I'm fifth grader. Oh, I see. And next year, you'll be the sixth grader. Yes. Oh, I now remember how it was. Yes, in elementary school, it has school broadcasting, right? And so... Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. In the morning, probably like eight something. And... I remember there was broadcast room in the school and then the the person was reading things about weather and some news and thought are you be the voice of that in your school uh, yes now i understand oh really that's that's oh. huge wow <laughs> so which means in your school everyone will listen to your voice and your thought and then the script that you wrote yes that's amazing now i understand what it is oh are you nervous or uh, are you are you are you happy that you became the voice of the school how do you feel about it uh, i am very happy i think so you must be very excited yes Okay, did you did you tell your friends about it? Uh, uh, oh, yes, I told my friends about mm -hmm. it. No, oh, I see. And what did your friends say and uh, how did they feel about it? They sent me a uh, congratulation. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are a few things that I want to teach you today. So you said, I, uh, I, I told, and the past tense of tell is told. Okay, tell, told, told. And then you said, okay, uh, maybe I'll make a Sentence here. I tell my friends. It's a short quiz. Maybe you can just tell me the answer. How would you make it? Uh, How would you change it? Uh, I told my friends. Very good. And then you also said one more thing there. That was, I said, my friends. What about it? Can you make it right? No. That way you want to say, I said to my friends. And you probably don't understand why. Is because say what? What does it mean by say? What is say? Um, uh, right. But is an as an in uh, transitive verb. This is ah. This is what el marata. So that's why the object should be something, not person. Say, said, and said. 
say, said, said. Okay, in that case, then what about this? I want to say, uh, then what about it? Um, I said that. <laughs> Very good. I said that. Then. Then what about it? I said about that. Very good. I said about that. I said about that. Very good. Then what about? I said about that to my friends. Okay. Or you can say, I told my friends about that because told is for people and said is about the things. And also you can say, I talked to my friends about that. So we have say, tell, talk, and everything. I mean, they are different slightly, but same. I said about that to my friends. I told my friends about that. I talked to my friends about that. Okay, you probably wonder, what's the difference now? Don't worry, I'm here for you. So there are three things. Uh, so when we talk about marada in Korean, and uh, how many words can you come up with in English? Um, say. That's right, say. What tell. else? Tell. And what else? Uh, talk. Oh, no. Talk. Oh, yeah. Talk. Oh, L sound. You don't pronounce the L sound. It's like talk. Okay, and there is one more thing. Do you know? Uh, Oh, I don't know. That'll be speak. Okay, but uh, each of them, I mean, it's seriously like, they are all different. It's confusing. And this is, I mean, today is the last day you get confused about it because I will, I mean, confused with this because I'll make you understand everything, how different this is, say. What does it mean by say is that is say and what about tell? Um, Very good. And what about talk? Yeah, right. And what about speak? I don't know. This is same as talk. The people have so many different things. So in that case, if we make the simplest uh, sentence for each, then it will be, he said that. Possible. And uh, what does that mean? He said that. Uh, right. And what about he tell that? No, you can't. Oh, yeah, that's possible if you think that way. But normally, we don't really put that there. We put person instead of things. He tells, okay, maybe I'll say uh, he tells me. And in Korean, what would that be? Uh, 
그는 나에게 말했다. 말하 어 말하다. Uh huh. Well, I'll say this. But that's uh, also present tense. Then now, what about it? And I will say he talks. 그는 말하다. Mm -hmm. And what about he speaks? 그는 말한다. Right. So actually, to make slightly, um, I mean, it's a little different here, I should make it this way. It should be here, not there. Okay, they'll just do. Right, to make the same sentence, I must say, he talks to me. And this one is the same. He speaks to me. It's because this is intransitive verb and this is transitive verb. And so, in that way, you want to say, oh, this should be here. And another one here will be, he said to me. He says, oh. To me. Okay, so that's how they are different. Well, education, or do you understand it? Uh, I understand it. Okay, I think so. So we will use this and then we will make different sentences. And we'll try to find the best way to say what we want to say. And so that will be oh uh, what about it? Um he told me about history. Mm -hmm. I would say the history. Or can you use say here? Sad. Oh, he said to me about the history. Oh, no. Said to me about the oh, It's possible, yeah. He said to me about the history. Why not? Right. And uh, what about talk? Uh, he talked to me about the history. Possible. Then what about speaks? Oh, I wouldn't say speak. He spoke to me about the history. It's possible. Yeah, so I'll just one more. I just put one more here. And the past tense of speak is, do you know? Uh, no. It's uh, spoke. He spoke to me about the history. So remember, there are different verbs for speaking. And they have different... Uh, Options. He told me about the history. He said to me about the history. He talked to me about the history. Okay, let's do it again. He talked to me about the history. He spoke to me about the history. Okay, and now you need to learn this one too. Speak and what's the past tense? Spoke. Very good. And can you guess the past participle here? No, spoke. Ah, no. Spoken. Speak, spoke, and spoken. Ah, I shouldn't have said that. Speak, spoke, spoken. Mm, wait, speak. It's possible, yeah. When this is language, it's possible. Okay, now you know. Okay, anything? Uh, uh, you, you, you said, uh, you said to me, uh -huh. speak is 
언니 바라다. Right, I said it, and it's because speak like what about then this sentence? Uh, I speak Korean. I speak English. I speak Chinese. In that case, if we use speak the verb speak for languages, this is transitive verb. So I can say I speak English. I speak Chinese. I speak something, but other cases we are. Talking about this is intransitive verb. Speak is 되게 한정적인 케이스로 타동사로 쓰여서 뒤에 목적어를 바로 받을 수 있어요. 근데 대부분 이런 경우엔 뒤에 언어가 올때 그렇게 됩니다. 그게 아닌 이상은 거의 다 자동사로 쓰이기 때문에 타동사도 가능하지만 대부분은 자동사로 쓰인다라고 생각을 하면 될것 같아요. 좋은 지적이에요. 잘했어요. say나 tell 같은 경우에는 무조건 타동사로 이렇게 쓰이거나 내지는 자동사로 쓰이는데 타동사로 쓰이는 케이스가 훨씬 더 많아요. 훨씬 더 많습니다. 자, 여기까지 듣고 나서 또 질문 있습니까? 아니요. Okay. And so, okay, now you understand how to say speak, say, tell, and talk. Okay. So you are the voice of the school. And then when do you do it? Like you said, you will talk through the microphone so that everyone can hear your thought and your voice. And what time do you do that? Uh, it changes it change, uh, every day. Uh huh. Because. Uh huh. I, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I don't speak mm -hmm. every day. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Uh, so actually you are the the school announcer, right? And how many announcers are there in your school? Uh, what announcers? Well, announcer, maybe you need to learn this one first. Announce. Announce. Okay, 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 okay. I'll do it. Announce. Announce is a verb, and this is an action, and that is you say something important to people. Normally, People do it on the news, right? So maybe I'll change. I mean, check this one with you now. Announce. This is announce. All right. Now you see announce. And what about announcer? Oh. Uh, uh, no. Uh, announcer is like an announcer. That's right. That's the Korean, uh, Korean pronunciation of announcer. Okay. So announce is. Then what about announcer? I cha. Yeah. Right. So that's why. If you watch news like KBS, NBC, or those news like SBS, there is always announcer, right? What does he do? He announces. He announces. That's why he's announcer. Very good. So what I'm talking about here is you are the school announcer, right? Uh, announcer. Yes. Okay. Then, how many other announcers are there in your school now? Oh, uh, now? Mm -hmm. uh, now is, uh, I, I am not good at uh, this work, mm -hmm. so... Uh, my school announcer is two people, but mm. next week, uh, next 
uh, year uh, is my school uh, next year my school announcer is only me oh okay uh, this year then are there three announcers including you uh, oh two now, including me is two announcers. Oh, I see. So it seems like you will learn from, I mean, the other announcer this year. And you will yes. be the main announcer next year. Is that right? Yes. yes. That's amazing. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. Is it is it a man or is it a boy or is it a girl? Uh, is it a boy? Oh, I see. Oh, so next year, there will be the girl announcer, which is you. Very good. Okay, okay. And uh, how long has it been since you joined the, uh, the broadcasting team in your school? How long has it been? Uh, I can't... Uh... I can announce, sir. Uh -huh. uh, uh, be, uh, uh, I finished announcer uh -huh. become a middle school first grader. Wait a second. I don't really understand now. Uh, what do you mean? I, I, I finished announcer. Oh no 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 no! My my question was how long has it been since you became, uh, you uh, you joined the school broadcast team. Do you understand? Um. No. I'll teach you. So which means you don't know how long has it been, question. So okay, what is how long? Mm, that is oh yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah. in uh in timely matter that's correct and i want to make a sentence or or, or can you make a sentence okay. using how long uh how long mm -hmm. How long does it take to go to uh, the airport? Mm -hmm. Right, you can say it that way. How long does it take to go to the airport? How long does it take to go to the airport? Hmm. Okay, that's the thing. And next is... um. What if I say, um, how long did you study? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Do you play the piano? Uh, yes. Okay, very good. So how long did you learn to play the piano? How long did you learn to play the piano? I have played the piano. Mm -hmm. I I have learned the piano mm -hmm. for four years. Very good. 자 선생님이랑 이거 조금만 생각을 해볼게요. 여기에서 선생님이 how long did you라고 물어봤는데 거기에 대한 다 대답을 I have learned라고 했죠. 왜 그랬을까요? 과거형으로 대답 안 하고 현재 완료형으로 대답한 이유는 뭐냐면은 그 행동의 지속 기간이 상당히 길잖아요. 4년이라는 시간이란 말이에요. 일회성으로 한번 배우고 만게 아니라 특정 과거의 특정 시점부터 지금까지 쭉 이어지는 기간을 말했기 때문에 I have learned가 들어간 거예요. 맞죠? 질문 또한 똑같아요. 그래서 이거를 이렇게 물어볼 때랑 이렇게 물어볼 때가 달라요. 
이두 개의 질문이 의미하는 시사하는 바가 약간 다릅니다. 하나는 How long did you learn to play the piano? 그래서 의미는 당신은 얼마나 오래 피아노를 쳤죠? 이거예요. 밑에 것도 마찬가지. 당신은 얼마나 오래 피아노를 쳤죠? 이거예요. 근데 한국어에서는 차이점이 없어요. 근데 영어에서는 차이점이 알겠나요? 혹시 무슨 차이를 갖는지? 알겠어요. Okay. Well, maybe you want to say, tell me about it. Um, 리드는 어 얼마나 오래 피아노를 쳤죠?고 해븐 쳐 왔죠?니까. 그러니까 해부는 지금도 계속 하고 있는 거고 이드는 이 끝난 거를 말한 거 아닐까요? 이거는 약간 두개다 포함할 수도 있어요. 그래서 A라는 사람이 예를 들어서 이 부분 좀 나중에도 기억하기 바랍니다. A라는 사람이 B에게 질문을 했단 말이에요. How long did you learn to play the piano? 라고 하면 B라는 사람은 You mean today? 이렇게 하면 무슨 말이겠어요? B가 무슨 말을 했죠? 오늘 말하는 그쵸 B가 애매한 거예요 이 did를 쓰니까 지금까지 내 세상, 그러니까 내 삶에서 얼마나 피아노를 쳐왔냐는 질문이 아닐 수도 있거든요 이렇게 물어보면 은 오늘일 수도 있어요 왜? 과거 시제는 이미 끝난 일에 대한 얘기를 하는 거니까 그러니까 나는 피아노를 내 삶에서 끝난, 끝낸 적이 없는데 이렇게 물어봤잖아요. 그러면 은 이거는 오늘 천년 얘기일 수 있단 말이에요. 그렇기 때문에 B가 확신이 없으니까 You mean today or my entire life? 내 생애, 생애에서 생애 이렇게 될수 있는 거예요. 근데 이렇게 물어보잖아요. How long have you learned to play the piano? 그러면 이거는 상당히 그럴 확률이 높은 게 I have learned to play the piano for four years. Five years 라고 했나요? Four years 라고 했나요? 방금 전에? Four years. 음, 4년 동안 피아노를 배워왔어요. 어떤 느낌인지 알겠죠? 네. 음, 이거는 이게, 이게 이걸 게이 의미할 수도 있어요. 실제로. Have you를. 근데 이렇게 말했을 때는 최근에를 물어볼 확률이 높은 단어 문장이고 이렇게 말했을 때는 무조건 이쪽의 확률이 높아요. 왜냐하면 그 뒤에 투데이를 굳이 안 넣을 수도 있잖아요. 이 뒤에도 투데이를 굳이 안 넣을 수도 있는 거고 entire life라든지 뭐 이런 것들을 안 넣을 수도 있고 자 여기까지 설명했는데 여기에 대해서 이해 안 되는 부분이나 아니면 은 하고 싶은 얘기 있습니까? 아니요. 그만큼 이거는 좀 알겠다는 얘기겠죠 지금 현재 그죠? 네. 음, 이 부분을 따로 여기에다 숙지에다가 편성하진 않을 거예요. 여기 일단 사진으로서 남겨놓고 그리고 기억하도록 하겠습니다. 왜냐하면 이거를 학습적으로 내지는 훈련적인 부분으로 풀어주기가 쉽지가 않은 부분이라서 그래요. 왜냐하면 우리나라 말엔 이게 없으니까 거의 없다고 보면 되는 거라서. 이렇게 남겨놓도록 하겠습니다. Okay, so how long did you learn to play the piano? And how long have you? So now you understand the difference between how long have you and how long did you? All right, that's great. And uh, my next question is, how long have you been in the club? I mean, how long has it been? How long has it been? What about that then? What does that even mean? Mm. All right, that's 
How long has it been? 무언가를 하다는 얘기는 여기 없어요. 근데 이건 시간적으로 음, 이게 얼마나 되어왔죠? 글쎄 이걸 정확히 한글로 표현할 방법이 없긴 해요. 본인이 하려고 해도 아마 힘들 거예요. 어, 이게 얼마나 지속되어 왔죠? 라는 이야기예요. 사실상. 가장 제대로 말을 하자면. 은 그래서 이걸로 판단할 수 있는 부분이 아니라 이건 이렇게 그대로 숙제로 만들겠습니다. 나중에라도 이해 안 된다면 선생님한테 얘기해 주세요. 그런 숙제를 고칠 테니까 그때 가서는 How long has it been since you joined the team? How long has it been since you joined the team? 자, 이거는 무슨 말이에요, 그러면은? 음, 어, 당신이 팀, 그 팀에 참가한 지 어, 얼마나 됐나요? 그쵸. 이거예요. 그래서 How long has it been이 이제 이해가 되나요? 됐습니다. 이거 쓸 일이 되게 많아요. Well then, uh, now maybe I... Uh... Then what about this question? I, uh, I also need to make this question. I need to twist it a little. Um, how long has it been since you start playing the piano? No, okay, wait a second. I'll say again. How long has it been since you started playing the piano? Um, okay. Uh, I... Played the piano mm -hmm. since um, four years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. That's something I need to teach you now. I see some errors there, and then I find it, I mean, I found it actually just now, and then I'll correct this one for you. Okay, one more thing here. So uh, in that case, you need to understand how to answer, I mean, how to make the answer out of the question, because that's the easiest way and that's the best way like recommend it. And so, oh, less than a minute. So I'm going to break the room and I'll re-invite you. Oh, yes. Okay. All right, let's go again. And this one, I play the p. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, do you hear me now? Oh yes. All right, great. And so, I played the piano since four years ago. So there are a few errors here, and uh, we don't really talk about it right now. But uh, what I want to tell you is, look at this. How long has it been? Which means this question is asking you about it. So the best way, I'm, I'm not saying it's the best way, but uh, the most uh, like the, the, the most common way to do it is you say it as the starter. So you can say it and then has been. Has been. You'll practice this way a little with me. So it has been, and how would you say it? Could you say the rest? Um, um, no. I'll help. So it has been four years. Okay, what is this? Like, it has been four years. What does that mean? Well, it doesn't really say I did, but 4년 되었습니다. 4년입니다. 
이런 식으로 말하는 거죠. 뭐가 4년인지를 이제 여기서부터 쓰는 거예요. It has been four years, and can you find the answer from the question? This is the question, and you can just catch some answer here. It has been four years, and what? What? What has been? What? Playing the piano. Mm -hmm. But one thing, though, like you want to understand this since it has been four years since I started. We are pinpointing the 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 moment that you started the uh, started pl playing the piano, and that was four years ago. So that's how we use since. It has been four years since I started playing the piano. Okay, look at this. It has been four years since I started playing the piano. So, 여기 있는 거 그대로 갖다 쓰죠, 그죠? 이런 식으로 네. 문제 자체에서 대답을 찾는 연습을 좀 하면 좋아요. 왜냐, 스텔라 같은 경우에는 지금 현재 대답을 It has been 이라고 하는 능력이 없어요, 아직까지는. 근데 선생님 그 능력을 길러주고 싶어요. 왜냐하면 이거 굉장히 많이 쓰는 표현이에요. It has been, it's been, it's been a while. 이런 식으로 말하면 은 우리 안 만난 지 시간이 좀 됐네 라는 말을 굉장히 짧게 한 거예요. 이런 식으로 지금 스텔라가 가지고 있지 않은 것을 선생님 개발시켜 주려고 노력 중입니다. 가봅시다. 비슷한 거 여러 개할 거예요. It has been four years since I started playing the piano. Oh, I don't hear anything now. Wait. I think I should change this one here. You probably don't, uh, don't, uh, you can't hear it, but later when I give it to your homework, then you can hear it. It has been four yeah. years since I started playing the piano. 제가 피아노를 치기 시작한 지 4년이 되었습니다. 이 얘기예요, 정확히는. 그래서 이런 식으로 말하는 법을 배워야 돼요. 지금부터 훈련을 하겠습니다. 당신은 어 <웃음> 이거 이거 한글로 됩니까? 어려운데. <웃음> 이거 만들 수 있어요. How long has it been since you started playing the piano? <웃음> 이거거든요. 이해됐나요? 이 부분 전체적으로? 네. Well, that's great. And we will go for the next one. And uh, I want you to learn this one a little. And this will help you a lot. Then, okay, I'm going to make the same question. Ah. How long has it been since you entered elementary school? Wait, how long has it been since you entered the elementary school? Okay, this. Then uh, how would you answer this question? Um. <laughs> <laughs> It has been a uh, five years. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, it has been five years since I entered the elementary school. Okay. All right. Wait. Uh, it has been five years since I entered the elementary school. Okay, CBC, so it should be now. Let me just check it out. I have this, uh, huh, I am a little, how can I say, paranoid. Okay, so, uh, hmm. Okay, this. 
all right, it seems you understand like pretty much is fine. Then, all right, so uh, we'll talk about other things then. Then now the real question is, how long has it been since you joined the 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 broadcasting team? It has been um, six day, uh, six day uh, since I joined the broadcasting team. Perfect. That's how you do. 처음에 선생님이 how long has it been 질문을 했을 때 아예 못 알아들었죠, 그죠? 근데 지금은 대답까지 할수 있는 상태가 됐죠. 그거예요. 그 사이를 계속 좁혀주는 거예요. 모르는 게 있으면 알게 만들고 할수 있게 만들고. Okay, great. Now I understand that it has been six days since you joined the broadcasting team. Very good. And uh, what have you learned so far? Um, I have learned that I learned uh, some a password uh, for example uh, computer password or the door password mm -hmm. And uh, uh, mm, uh, uh, I don't know because uh, what I learned. Oh, because today is first day of ah. I learned uh, the broadcast thing. Mm, okay, I see. And how does it look like? That place must have microphone and some equipment there. Did you did you get into the room broadcasting room? Uh, yes. Okay, how does it look? Uh, it looks very interesting. Mm. Uh, there is many buttons. I think so. And, uh, and a ca camera and And some article uh, and a studio. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I see. Okay, the camera part though. Uh, do you use? I mean, uh, do uh, does the broadcasting team also use the camera? Because I was thinking maybe you just speak through the microphone and that's it. And do you use camera too? And when? Uh, no, cam oh. camera is uh, work about camera is other students work. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Mm. Ah. Then now I have another question. You said there are, including you, there are two announcers in the broadcasting team. And my next question is, how many people are in the broadcasting team? Now is, now is, uh, now is, us. Uh, uh, six grade uh, three students. Oh, uh, now, 
now is six students. <gasps> uh, three is sixth grader and three is five grader. Oh. Next year's sixth grader is became become middle school. Yeah, right. So graders. So uh -huh. next year is only three students. Now I understand. So it seems, uh, including you, three fifth graders are taking over sixth graders' job. So now three fifth grader students are learning uh, things, and then you will take over the job next year. Do you understand? Take over. Uh huh. Well, then maybe I'll just put it here, and you'll understand. It's interesting. It's fascinating, actually. I'm very, really, really, genuinely fascinated by how that works, because I remember that exists when I was really young in my school too, and I didn't really thought about doing it. But then now you're doing it, so it feels like I'm going back to. When I was in elementary school, and then I learned something that I didn't learn, and it feels great. Thank you. Okay, I'll teach you takeover. This is takeover. Do you know this? Inge insu. Oh yes. So you guys are doing it now. You are learning from the sixth graders. Yes. Great. Okay, then you can say, uh, take something over. Take something over. Well, that could be this, or this could be, um, this is a uh, take something over. Okay. Seems you understand. Then, now maybe I make a sentence. Uh, then what about this? Can you make this sentence? Uh, we took uh, that over. Yeah, we took that over. And what about this? Uh, we uh, are Taking their work over. Hmm. In that case, this part is a little long, like more than one word. Then I would probably say just uh, taking over their work. It's okay. We are taking over their work. We are taking over their work. Then now, what about this? Uh, <laughs> I think he grew a little taller, right? Didn't he? Um, he looks I don't bigger know. now. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. mm, ah. Mm. What about it? Uh, uh, 
Uh, I can make this sentence. I would go with it has been. Oh, oh, it has been a week. Ah, it has been how long first, please? Oh, it has been one day. Okay. Uh, since we... We are... Uh, we are taking their work. Okay. Uh, uh, just a uh, finish it. Okay, okay, I see. I'll change a little. It has been a, a day. I would say a day because one day, when you pronounce it, it's tiring. 피곤해요, 발음하기. One day, one, 해야 되는데, 어, 는 훨씬 쉬워요. 그래서 이거를, 아니, 도대체 사람이 어디까지 게을러지려고 원이 귀찮다고 어를 하냐라고 생각할 수 있는데 일생에서 원이라는 단어를 계속 말해야 되는 걸 생각해 보면은 어가 맞아요. 그래서 더 편한 쪽으로 진화하는 겁니다. 언어도. It has been a day. It has been a day. 쉽잖아요. Been one day 보다. It has been a day since we started. 시작했다라고 돼 있잖아요. 여기 그죠? We started taking over their work. It has been a day since we started taking over their work. 이렇게 되겠습니다. 어렵죠? 괜찮아요. 근데 하다 보면 쉬워. 네. 어, ing 앞에는 비동사가 와야 되는 거 아니에요? 최고. 오케이. 이것도 가르쳐 줄게요. <웃음> 자, 그 질문은 되게 많은 것을 시사하고 있는데 선생님이 그 질문을 여기다가 남겨 놓을게요. 잊지 않겠습니다. 스텔라가 말했다. 선생님, 어, ing 앞에는 이거 말하는 거잖아요. 뭐, 뭐 ing 앞에는 네. 비동사가 와야 하는 거 아닌가요? 정말 좋은 질문이고 이런 거 선생님 멈추고 바로바로 바로 물어봐야 돼요. 이거는 왜 그런지 알려줄게요. 음, 동명사를 목적어로 받는 동사, 투부정사를 목적어로 받는 동사에 대한 이해가 아직 부족. 이거가 문제입니다. 뭔지 알려줄게요. 잠깐만, 이것만 정리하고 바로 말해주겠습니다. It has been a day since we started taking over their work. 이건데 조금만 더 나가서 이런 식으로 말을 안할 거란 말이에요. 실제로 할 말은 뭐냐면은 우리가 그들의 업무를 인수받기 인수 인계 인수받기 시작한 지 하루 밖에 안 지났다. 이렇게 말할 거란 말이에요. 이럴 때에는 only만 하나 추가하면 되는 거예요. It has been. It has. Been, 여기에다 쓰는 거야. It has only. It only has. It on. It has only been a day since uh, we started taking over their work. It has only been a day since we started taking over their work. 이래서. 이런 게 선생님이 계속 막 물어보는데 너 이것도 몰라? 저것도 몰라? 이렇게 하면 은 그때 이렇게 말할 수 있는 거예요. 하루밖에 안 지났어요. 이렇게 말할 수 있는 게 이런 문장이에요. 조금씩 익숙해지도록 할 거고 선생님이 물어본 거 대답을 해주겠습니다. 자, 봐봐요. 나는 원한다. 문장 어떻게 만들죠? Uh, I want. 
오케이. 그러면 나는 뭐뭐 하기를 원한다로 바꿀 거예요. 나는 어, 아, 음, 아, 쉬기를 원한다. 어떻게 만들까요? I want. I want to rest. Rest도 되고 to rest도 돼요. 괜찮습니다. I want to take a rest. Take는 뭐뭐를 갖다잖아요. 그 영어적 표현이에요. 굉장히 휴식 하나를 갖길 원한다에. 한국어는 이렇게 말 절대 안 하죠. 근데 영어는 이렇게 한단 말이죠. 이거예요. 봐봐요. 쉬기를이라고 해서 이걸 목적으로 쓴 거예요. 은는 이 가가 들어가면 주어고 을 를이 들어가면 목적어죠. 그죠? 네. 어. 쉬기를 원한다 해서 이걸 목적으로 쓴 거예요. 원트에 대한. 여기까지는 이해됐나요? 네. 좋습니다. 그러면은 나는 즐긴다. 라는 문장을 하나 만들어 볼게요 이제 어떻게 쓰죠 저거? 음... I don't know I enjoy. That is this sentence. 무언 무엇을 즐기다라는 동사가 enjoy예요. 그러면 이제 우리는 나는 쉬는 것을 즐긴다. 이건 어떻게 쓸 거예요? I enjoy to rest to take a rest. 음. 근데 이게 안 돼요. 이렇게 하면. I enjoy Taking a rest가 답이에요. 웃기죠? 이것도 왜 그런지 모르겠죠? 네. 똑같은 개념인데 왜 그러냐면 여기다 써줄게요. 이 이유를 써줄 건데 선생님이 이거 또한 전부 다 적어놓고 시간을 잡아서 한번 싹다 가르쳐 주겠습니다. 이것 때문에 중학생들이 고생을 많이 하는데 그 부분 지금부터 해서 없애 놓을 거예요. 왜 그러냐면 여기다 설명을 일단 하고 넘어갈게요 선생님이 이것 때문에 그래요 자 동사마다 어 타동사 타동사마다 투부정사 목적어로 갖거나 아 투부정사를 목적어로 받을 수 있는지 동명사를 목적어로 받을 수 있는지가 타동사마다 다르다 이것 때문에 그래요 동명사가 뭔지 알고 있습니까? 어그 동사에다가 ing 보지 그렇죠 그래서 여기서 보면 은 want는 목적어를 투부정사를 받는 목적어를 써요. want는 투부정사를 받아요. 목적어로. 근데 enjoy는 동명사를 받아요. 그래서 이게 동사마다 달라요. 자 그러면 은 start는 뭘 받을까요? 스타트는 둘다 받아요. 그래서 케이스가 네 가지가 있어요. 동명사만 받는 아이들이 있고 투부정사만 받는 아이들이 있고 동명사 투부정사를 다 받는데 동명사와 투부정사 각각의 뜻이 달라지는 아이들이 있어요. 그리고 마지막은 동명사랑 투부정사랑 다 받고 뜻도 똑같은 애들이 있어요. 그네 가지 케이스가 존재합니다. 대충 뭔지는 알겠죠. 작동 원리까지 몰라도 이런 게 있다라는 건 알고 있겠죠. 이제 다른 시간에 이제 다음 시간이 될수 있을 것 같은데 그때에는 이 작동 원리에 대해 선생님이 가르쳐 줄게요. 자 오늘 수업 여기까지 하겠습니다. 잘했어요. 그런 식으로 궁금한 게 있으면 무조건 물어봐야 됩니다. 잘했습니다. 네, 안녕히 계세요. 그래요, 수고했어요.